There's the beehive, folks. Welcome to Gab HQ. How's everybody doing today? Beautiful day, we've been getting a lot of rain here. It's nice to have a semi overcast day. Get to get outside, enjoy nature, enjoy life. Enjoy this beautiful world that we're all in. And I hope I can inspire you all to do the same as well. Go out into nature, go for a walk, go to the zoo, connect with animals, do whatever you have to do. Enjoy the world, check out every once in a while. So I'm up here, I'm actually in a tree stand and uh, enjoying the view and I thought I'd have a talk. And we have a ton of people joining Gab this week and typically a lot of folks have a lot of questions when they first sign up. Number one, where's your app? Well, I'll clear that right off the bat because that's probably the number one question we get. We have been banned from both the Google Play and the Apple App Store for quote unquote objectionable content and hate speech that has been posted by our users, which we refuse to censor. Now it's interesting that Apple and Google both came to this conclusion and refused to allow our app to be in their store, but we've made the best of it and we're building for a future without walled gardens that are controlled by Apple and Google. And that's why we actually started Gab as a web platform in the first place, because I knew that I didn't want to be under the thumb of Apple and Google, because I knew that this was going to happen. So that's why we started with a web product. Now there are ways to access Gab uh, from your old device, of course. Uh, iOS users, the best thing to do is open Gab on Safari and click the share button then click add to home screen. And what this will do is it'll allow you to add a Gab icon, a shortcut to Gab right on your uh, iOS home screen. So it'll look like an app icon. It'll open Gab right up. And we're working on improving the mobile performance, the mobile uh, experience as much as possible to make it look into app. We do have an Android app as well. Uh, yes, we are hiring engineers. Uh, shoot us an email with uh, your information, support at gab.ai if you're interested. So we do have an Android app, but you cannot get it in the Google Play Store. You can get it directly from our website. And it's right on the front page. It's under uh, mobile apps, mobile apps tab. And you can download our Android app directly. So those are really the first, that's like the first question is like, okay, where's the app, right? And we're living in a world where people don't understand that we are at war with these big tech companies. We are at war for the control of information and for the control of news and for the control of knowledge on the internet. This is psychological warfare. These algorithms used by Facebook's news feed, uh, Twitter is no longer chronological. They have an algorithmic feed now. These algorithms are deciding what people see and what they don't see. And they're program programming us uh, to believe uh, certain narratives and to reject or not see any form of dissent or any other narratives. And that's, that's scary stuff. So the next thing that people usually like to give us feedback on is, okay, well, your UI sucks. Your user interface sucks. And I would agree in certain areas. It absolutely sucks. Like our Gab TV product needs work. And we're in the process right now of working with a new third party uh, provider to help us improve the streaming, uh, the playback, um, and the overall experience of Gab TV. I think that's one of our weakest points right now. And I'll be upfront about that 100%, right? Like we're very transparent about what our issues are, about what we need help with, about what we're working towards. And that's the thing about Gab that I think if you're new, that's what you should know is that this is completely powered by the people. We don't have you know, any help from uh, the establishment on the left or the right. We're not in Silicon Valley, as you can see. We're definitely not in Silicon Valley. You know, There's no heroin needles on the sidewalks and people crapping in the streets. We're definitely not there, right? We don't have, you know, we don't have 10,000 employees. We don't have you know, billions of dollars in capital to play with, offices all around the world. 
we're a small team powered by our community, 100% by our community. Our first financing round was powered by our users. Our users invested in the company. They are shareholders in Gab. I don't think that's ever been done before, right? You know, think of if you can own Facebook stock, you know, 10 years ago when they were first getting started, right? That's an incredibly powerful thing. And we're so glad to involve our community to that level, right? Because most, most of the time, the investment rounds, you know, in, in a startup, they typically, you know, you're going to go to Silicon Valley insiders, venture capitalists, angel investors, uh, the 1% essentially of what we call accredited investors, not normal working class people. So what we did is we used existing regulatory frameworks under the Jobs Act to allow anyone to invest. Uh, I believe it was as low as something like $250 or something like this, right? But that really democratized fundraising for us and for the internet. And this is really the future of, of new ideas and new products and alternative technology that's gonna be powered by the people. Gab is only gonna be the first app. Uh, in the all tech movement, there are many more popping up. There will be many more that follow. Uh, and it's going to be completely powered by the people and likely powered through crypto as well. Uh, so what else is going on? What else do you want to see in Gab? What other feedback do you have that is critical? I think a lot of people, you know, we get a lot of feedback that says, well, your UI sucks or it's too hard to use. Well, that's not very helpful. That's very generalized, right? Like, give me some specifics. Because if I have specifics, then I can improve. I can go to our engineering team and I can say, hey, guys, we're getting a lot of reports. People are saying this. You know, check out this section of the site. Can you improve this? This is a bug. That's how we can improve. That's how we get better every day is really through our community. Um, and that's something that I'm really proud of. Uh, I'm most proud of our community. Uh, we have great folks from all around the world who support us, who invest it in our company, who uh, are customers. Um, that's the other thing. Gab is ad free. You know, we're not uh, extracting all of your data and, and selling it to advertisers and not giving you anything for it like Facebook and Twitter and Google are. Uh, instead, we're empowering creators to actually monetize their content, monetize their audience and have a direct distribution channel right to their fans instantly. So a lot of people don't know this. Uh, creators can actually make money on Gab. And we have creators that are making hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars a month, which is really incredible. Uh, you know, because our site, we have about 500,000 people, 500,000 users. Uh, and for people to be making content creators, to be making um, disposable income like that, uh, just creating content, posting memes, posting news, whatever it is that they do, that is something that's really incredible. And I think one of the more promising uh, components of Gab that I see, that we see going forward, we want to empower creators. Uh, we don't want you to spend all this time building up, you know, your audience on Gab uh, so that we can then uh, turn around and um, sell that data to advertisers. I think that model is completely broken. And we think that if we empower creators to make money directly through uh, subscriptions, like a uh, exclusive content that only subscribers can see, for example, um, or tipping. So people can just tip you if, if they enjoy your content. Um, that really is going to be the future. It's a peer to peer exchange. There's really, there's no, uh, middleman of, of an advertiser that gets in the way because that's where a lot of the censorship is coming from. These advertisers are, are complaining to YouTube and the Facebook and the Twitter. They don't want to see their ads on certain wrong think on certain political opinions. So that's why they're pulling their money and uh, forcing big tech to uh, crank down on the censorship and clean up, so to say. Uh, weed out the trolls as Twitter is, is working on now with their new censorship uh, of the reply threads and of search results. So just when you're giving feedback, right? Like it really helps us, it actually does. If you're providing critical feedback that is detailed and specific if it's just general it doesn't it doesn't really do anything for us like we want to improve do you think that we just we want to suck like no we want to build a great product that everybody loves that creators love um and that defends free speech and individual liberty period like that's that's the goal that's always been the goal that's always going to be the goal so thanks for tuning in if you have feedback please give it to us uh mention us uh email us do whatever you have to do let us know. We're listening and um, we're improving the product on a day-to-day -day basis. If you haven't been on it a bit, I recommend you go in, check it out. Uh, we've added a lot of new features. We've worked a lot on the user interface over the past couple of months. 
So thanks for tuning in. Remember to speak freely, folks.